how Joseph Smith, the founder uh, and first prophet of the LDS Mormon Church, plagiarized the King James Bible. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi everybody, my name is James. Welcome to California High Desert Preacher. Today's video is going to be discussing as to hit that like button, subscribe, and leave me a comment down below. Please, especially if you're a current Mormon or an ex-Mormon, hit that like button, subscribe, and leave me a comment down below. And the floor is open for anybody to ask me any questions that you like and to leave any comments that you like, so as long as they are respectful. So, right here, I'm going to start off with Nephi 18 and prove to you how Joseph Smith, the founder and first prophet and seer of the Mormon LDS Church, plagiarized the uh, King James Bible. And so what Joseph Smith did was he studied especially the New Testament, um, the canon, and especially the writings of Paul. And he plagiarized them. And now I see from going into a lot of Facebook pages, and I'll pop up some um, members of some of these groups, and I'll leave a link. If you're a born-again Christian and a believer and you're interested in joining me in any, in any of these uh, Christians uh, versus Mormon debates, uh, Facebook uh, pages, I'll leave the link down below so you can come in and you can cut your teeth and, and, and try and get into a very deep uh, conversation with these guys. But I have to warn you, first of all, there's a few things that I've learned about the LDS members that go into these Facebook debate groups. They're very disingenuous. They're very dishonest. Most of them are what I would like to call trained apologists to a certain level, and they're trained to be very misleading. Um, even to the point where I would call them liars. Uh, they're, if you're not familiar with the LDS doctrine, they claim to be Christian, but they have two versions of the gospel of the Mormon faith. They have the Book of Mormon, which is supposedly another uh, testament or revelation of Jesus Christ, and they claim that only they have the true gospel through the LDS prophets and the Book of Mormon. But the problem is, is there's all kinds of holes, discrepancies, and contradictions in the Mormon Bible. And they say that it's not the Bible. The only Bible they study and believe in is the King James Bible. But history has shown that Joseph Smith wrote his own plagiarized version of the Joseph Smith King James Bible. But they are not very forthcoming on a lot of very important information. Not only that, but their Bible, or the Mormon Bible, the Book of Mormon, whatever you choose to call it, has been altered and changed about 900 times since the conception of the LDS faith. All that being said, let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. Right here we have 1 Nephi chapter... Uh, 18, we're going to go to verse 13. It says right here, Wherefore they knew not whether they should steer the ship, insomuch that there arose a great storm. Sound familiar? Yea, a great terrible tempest, and we were driven back upon the waters for the space of three days, and they began to frighten exceedingly, least they should be drowned in the sea. Nevertheless, they did not lose me. Ah, and let's go on to verse 14. And on the fourth day, which we had been driven back, the tempest began to exceedingly soar. But let's stop there. And so my claim here, right here at 1 Nephi chapter 18, verses 13 through 14, is that it has been plagiarized from the canon of the Holy Bible, Mark chapter 4, verse 37 through 39. And this goes like this. And there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat unto the ship, so that it was now full. 
And he was in the hinder part of the ship asleep on a pillow, and they awake him, and say unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? Now, what they are talking about is the story of when they were on uh, the ocean, and Jesus was in the boat with the apostles, and he fell asleep. And they became very fearful and frightened for their life. And they were trying to wake Jesus up, saying, Lord, don't you care about us? Do something, man. And so Jesus, right here in 39, he arose and he rebuked the winds. And he said unto them, Peace be still. And the wind ceased. And there was a great calm. Now, why am I comparing these two from the Mormon or the Book of Mormon and the King James Bible and the Book of Mark? Because I'm trying to give you an example of how in many different places, that the uh, first prophet, seer, and founder of the LDS Church has plagiarized the King James Bible. But I'm going to come up with several more. So stay tuned if you find this interesting. And we find ourselves back here at the book of Mosiah, chapter 27. Now we're reading verse 12. And so great was their astonishment that they fell to the earth and understood not the words which he spake unto them. And we believe that this is a plagiarization of the book of Acts, chapter 22, verse 9 in the King James Bible. And it reads, And they that were with me saw indeed the light, and were afraid, but they heard not the voice of him that spoke to me. All right. Now, this is just some of many examples of the plagiarization of the King James Bible plagiarized by Joseph Smith, the founder, the writer, uh, and the first prophet and seer of the Book of Mormon from the LDS Church. I want you to realize that not only is the Book of Mormon and all the writings of Joseph Smith a heresy, not only is it deception and a lie and a false dichotomy of the gospel of Jesus Christ, but it is a shameful, sad example how man takes Jesus and twists the gospel that's been given to us in the canon. All right, in the book of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and the letters written to the first century church from Paul, uh, and use it to make it a man-centered religion and belief system that's going to lead millions and millions of people to hell. If people like me and you do not study religion and find the holes, the contradictions, and the heretical teachings of these religions, and go out here and shed light on the darkness. All right, so here we are in the book of Mosiah, chapter 27, and we're going to read from verses 10 through 11. And it says, And now it came to pass that while he was going about to destroy the church of God, for he did go about secretly with the sons of Mosiah, seeking to destroy the church and to lead astray the people of the Lord, contrary to the commandments of God or even the king. And verse 11 reads, And as I said unto you, as they were going about reveling against God, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto them, and descended as it were in a cloud. And he spake as it were with a voice of thunder, which caused the earth to shake upon which they stood. Now this right here, Mosiah chapter 27, verses 10 through 11, is a plagiarization of the book of Acts chapter 26 from verses 11 through 13. And it reads, And I punished them oft in every synagogue, and compelled them to blasphemy, and being exceedingly mad against them, I persecuted them even unto a strange city. Whereupon, as I went to Damascus with authority, and commissioned from the chief priest, at midday, O king, I saw in the way of light from heaven, above the brightness of the sun shining around about me, and them which journeyed with me again. This is Joseph Smith plagiarizing the King James writings of the books of Paul and to the book of Mormon. Okay, these are the writings of Paul, my friends. Here we have the book of Alma, chapter 36, verse 6, which is a perfect example of the statement that I made earlier in the video. 
were the uh, founder and first prophet of the LDS Church, Joseph Smith, has used a lot of Paul's writings from the canon of the Holy Bible and added it into the Book of Mormon. So let's start here. For I went about with the sons of Mosiah, seeking to destroy the church. Sound familiar? Well, I'll prove my point in a moment. The church of God, but behold, God sent his holy angel to stop us. By the way, let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 9. And it says, For I am the least of the apostles, Paul writes, that I am not meet to be called an apostle because I persecuted the church of God. And so I want you guys to be aware of something very important. I took this information into one of these Facebook chat groups where it's Christianity defuting Mormonism or Christianity versus Mormonism or Mormonism versus Christianity, however you want to say it. And I gave them this information. And you know what they said? Well, then that proves the validity of the Book of Mormon because obviously Joseph Smith used biblical passages out of the Bible and added them into the Book of Mormon, which means that the Book of Mormon is actually true, deliberately discounting and overlooking the fact that he's a plagiarizer, a liar, and a deceiver. Please, somebody explain this to me. How can the people, the members of the LDS Church, turn a blind eye to a man who's whole religious faith. His whole doctrine is based on lies. Thanks for watching, guys. I will give you a part two of the plagiarization of Joseph Smith from the King James Bible to the Book of Mormon soon. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and leave me a comment down below. That's like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment down below. God bless. Happy holidays. I'm out of here. If you guys live in the Victor Valley area and would like to join me in evangelizing the high desert, feel free to click on the link down in the description part of the video where you'll find my email address. Also, guys, let's not forget the Great Commission given in Scripture, Matthew 28, 19 to 20, Mark 16, 15, 1 Peter 3, 15. God has called every believer to be a witness to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Join me and let's take back the high desert from the pro-abortion, pro-atheist, and pro-evolution communities. Also, guys, I need prayer warriors. Please keep me in this ministry and prayer. Thank you and God bless.